everybody, and welcome back to the Chieftain Report. I'm Jasper Jones. And I'm Maya Burgraff. Hey, Maya, did you know on this very day in 1931, the last Ford Model T was made and then retooled to make the Model V8? Wow. Um, V8, V8, like the juice. Yeah, Maya, like the juice. Before we go any more into about V8 and juice, here's your announcements. This will be the last reminder to get your choir concert tickets. They're on sale right now. Good luck to everyone who's involved. The average person spends five hours and four minutes watching TV per day. Now let me get out my calculator. If you live to be 80, that's 5 and 1 15th times 365 times 80, that's 147,946.6 hours or 6,164 days of watching TV in your lifetime. In the Know could be a part of that calculation. In the Know is a competition on TV where teams from all over Ohio compete in a quiz program about general knowledge of high school subjects, ranging from science to visual arts. This upcoming Wednesday, Logan High School's In the Know group will be on television. Rumor has it that they do really well, so make sure to tune in on channel WOSU at 7.30 to see Logan represented through our team. There's a student-run winter play coming up. It will soon be called Miracle on Santa Claus Lane, directed by student Clay Yoder. It will be shown on December 15th at 7 p.m. and December 16th at 3.30. Come out and see the show. Capital University is sponsoring an all-day boys basketball tournament on Saturday, December 22nd. Tickets are available for pre-sale now. Tickets are $8 in the athletic office and $12 at the door. A portion of the proceeds go to cancer research. You know, as I get older, I realize things that I made fun of my parents for, such as, you know, gas prices. Should I be complaining about the kids on my freshly cut lawn, my teeth falling out, music these days, my wife? But anyway, back to gas. Not surprisingly, there are a lot of people, like me, who look out for gas prices. And now for the people of Columbus, they can rejoice. Columbus's gas prices have not been this low since February, NBC4 said, to $1.99 or even as low to $1.89. Now, you might be thinking, that's not very low for us, but for Columbus, that's pretty low. A very wise man once said that if no one is watching, then it's not illegal. But what if someone was watching all along? No, this isn't a conspiracy theory, and no, I'm not talking about illegal stuff, but I am talking about a Chinese marathon. 258 participants in the Shenzhen Half Marathon in China were disqualified for cheating. Some of them even got caught on the Shenzhen Traffic Police Surveillance Cam. 18 runners even went to the extent to get fake bib numbers, while three people hired imposters to pose for them at the finish line. Why would, it, why would people want to stand outside a shoe store? Oh well, that's not really my business. Is this the kind of shirt my dad wears? Anyway, here's your weather with Klein Lehman. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we have a perfectly average weekend of weather ahead of us, so let's get right into the weather. On Friday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 39 and low of 24. On Saturday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 37 and low of 29. And on Sunday, it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 35 and low of 31. And on Monday, it will be partly cloudy again with a high of 36 and low of 28. And on Tuesday, again partly cloudy with a high of 39 and a low of 27. So what do you call an old snowman? Water. <laughs> Klein Lehman, TV2 Weather. Now time for Daniel Schwartz and Lexus Fickle with your Chieftain Sports. Hello Chieftain Sports fans, I'm Lexus Fickle. And I'm Daniel Schwartz. Here's what we have for you this week. Last Friday night, the boys basketball team held their home opener against the Unioto Shermans. After missing their first seven of nine shots from the field, a 12-0 run for the Chiefs gave them a lead Unioto couldn't come back from with more turnovers than points in the opening quarter. The Chiefs came out with an 11-0 run in the second half before taking their foot off the gas with a 50-27 lead starting the final quarter. The Shermans were able to score 20 points in the final quarter to make the ending score more respectable, 66-47. Senior Bo Myers opened his season, tying his career-high 31 points. 
It felt good to get the first one of the season on Friday against Unioto, and the fans were great. Uh, big student section, and we're back at it at Gahanna on Saturday. Leighton Cassidy also contributed 11 points, Caleb Bell netted 8, and Kobe Bell contributed 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 points, and 3 steals. All three teams play tomorrow at Gahanna Lincoln. The girls' basketball team traveled to Circle Bell Tuesday night to take on the Lady Tigers. The Lady Chiefs played another close game, winning by only 4 points. The final score was 50-46. to 46. Leading scorers for Logan were Brooklyn Harris, Emily Eggleston, Cambry Zimmerman, and Bethany Starlin, who had a career high of nine assists. Congratulations on another win, Lady Chiefs. The Logan Chieftains and Lady Chiefs opened their season with wins over New Lex at Scenic Lanes. Logan boys won 2,231 to 1,928. Wyatt Huffines led the Chiefs in the final in the first game to spark a near 100 point lead and the team never looked back. Caden McQuaid rolled a 221 and Huffines a 219 in the second game to extend to a near 200 point lead going into the Baker games, where the team rolled a 208 and 190. The Lady Chiefs claimed a 1,846 to 1,592 win over visiting New Lex as well. Emma Castle led the Lady Chiefs with a 191 for a 819 to 730 win in the first game. The team won 1,576 to 1,321 going into the Baker Games. Castle finished with a 167, and Kaylee, Kylie McCoon contributed 156 and 164. The boys and girls bowling teams play tomorrow in the first Logan Holiday Bowling Bash. That's all we have for you this week. I'm Lexis Fickle. And I'm Daniel Schwartz. Now here's a Chieftain PSA. I'm done with this school. I'm sick of the people here, the amount of classwork and homework, the moody teachers, and learning things that I don't need to know. I'm dropping out. Ella, 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 what are, Ella, what are your future plans? plans? What are you going to do? Ella, now that you're dropping out, what are your future plans? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Stay in school. You know what? I think I'm going to stay in school. Yay! I feel old. Anyway, well, that's all that we have for the show this week. I'm Jasper Jones. And I'm Maya Berga. Have a fantastic weekend. From TV2, The, the Deuce. Deuce. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it on me? Oh, ow. Now, oh. <laughs> I thought we were doing the... No, 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 no. And that's it.